Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man or Renegade Podcast YouTube channel. I'm your host, Deanna Berg B, and today, well, it's Survivor Series Day. Survivor Series happening in a few hours. Uh, so I thought, hey, time to open up another WWE Slam Crate powered by a loot crate. Um, I don't know when this is from. Um, if you miss any of the previous Slam Crates, you can watch them up there. While you're at it, head on down, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the thumbs up, like the video, hit that share button, share this with everyone in the world. Head on over to the comments and say hi. Um, tell me who you think is going to win tonight at Survivor Series. Uh, then check out the links in the description for my blog, podcast, other social media, and also my eBay, where I have a lot of things up for sale now. Um, I just listed a bunch of stuff, a lot of wrestling-related material, uh, if you're interested in any, uh, mostly shirts and stuff, but there might be other things up there, too. I don't know. Uh, I'm still in the process of uploading, or, sorry, listing things, so go check it out. I don't know what's up there, but I know there's a lot of t-shirts, so a lot of wrestling t-shirts, if you're interested in, go check those out. Make make offers. I have, have them up for prices. Buy it now, but I'm, I'm always accepting offers, uh, so uh, don't be afraid to tell me um, what you want. Um, uh, sorry. Uh, yes, yeah, Slam Crate. I don't know when this is from. Again, if you've missed the previous ones, um, I have, I don't know, I stopped subscribing to this, I don't even know how many years ago at this point, it was at least two, might have been more, more than that, honestly, and then everything got delayed, um, they went through bankruptcy, and then whatever, and then they're finally, they were finally filling in their back catalog, and I got a bunch of them, and I thought I was done, and then they just kept coming, but I think this is finally the last one, I haven't gotten any in a while, um, so I think this is it, I could be wrong, <laughs> they, another one might show up tomorrow, who knows? Uh, but I think this is it. So I don't know when this is from. I don't know what the theme is. I don't know anything about it. It got in a pile with a bunch of other ones. This is the finally the last one I haven't opened yet. So we'll jump right in and see exactly what is in here. Um, Maybe if I get lucky, it's Survivor Serial related. I don't know. Probably not, but who knows? You never know. Uh, some, of the, some of these recent ones have been very, very loosely themed. Um, you know, at the beginning, when they first started making these, they were very well-themed. They're pretty well-themed. But then they just, I feel like they just started throwing stuff together and throwing them in the box that they, whatever they had, here, throw it in the box. Let's fulfill this order. All right, starting things off with the t-shirt. Um, is a Stone Cold Steve Austin t-shirt. Uh, 316 with skulls, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Um, it's kind of cool, kind of cool looking. See if there's anything on the back. Nope, it is blank on the back. So, I don't know. Cool, cool design on the front, though. It's cool stuff. Um, I don't know if I'll keep this or not. If I don't, it will be listed in my eBay store, which there is a link. Well, it's not really a store. It's just my eBay account, which I list stuff. I was going back and forth whether I'm doing a store or not. Um, I don't think I have enough stuff that I need to have a store yet. Maybe eventually, but for right now, just listing stuff on my own. Uh, but yeah, Stone Cold Steve Austin t-shirt. That's cool. All right, next up. Let's see what else is in here. Not really, not very Survivor Serial related, but he's obviously, um, it's been at Survivor Series. Um, there's a Mr. Sacco uh, foam finger thingy. Um, doing the mandible claw. Mankind, of course. Uh, so... Interesting, interesting. Um, okay. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> All right, next up, what else we got in here? We got a rock. Rock is cooking. I'm guessing it says smell what the rock is cooking. I don't know what this is exactly. I'm guessing it's a... I gotta open it up because I'm not sure what this is. If I knew what it was, I probably I might not open it because just in case I, I decide not to keep it. But since I don't know what it actually is, I gotta open it up. Might be a bag. Is that? Oh, <laughs> I get it now. I know what it is. It's an apron. Um, smell what the rock is. Do you smell? Can you can you smell what the rock is cooking? Apron. That makes sense. It's an apron. Yeah, I probably won't keep this, so I'm going to keep that. I'm not going to unfold that because I'll never get it back folded. Uh, okay. And then I think there's one other thing in here. No, there's a couple things left. 
There is a poster of some sort. It is hostile hostile takeover match uh, with Kevin Nash and Scott Hall, Bash at the Beach, nineteen ninety six. Um, my one problem with this poster, and I think you could probably know what it is right off the bat. Um, well, first of all. Doesn't say, and well, why does it say NWO if it's supposed to be, I mean, I guess it's commemorative of the match. Because I was like, well, it doesn't really make sense if this is supposed to be like, kind of like the poster for the match. The NWO wasn't a thing yet. They became the NWO after the match was over, but I guess it's just commemorating it. So put it, I don't know, it's an interesting poster. It's like, I'd rather it be like more indicative of what would have been the poster rather than like a commemorative like thinking looking back on it poster i don't know but yeah obviously that was uh, 25 years ago uh this past summer so that could be in line with when this box actually came out um and then there's one more thing in here it is a stone cold steve austin can i get a hell yeah uh pin so there we go that's kind of back upside down spun around a little bit but all right, um, kind of goes along with the um, the um, t-shirt. So I guess if I had to guess, I would say I don't know. The rock apron kind of is interesting. Well, I guess that everything in here is re like twenty-five years old, right? Because you think Stone Cold Steve Austin became Stone Cold Steve Austin twenty-five years ago. In 1996, and then Austin 316, and won the we won the King of the Ring and all that stuff. Mankind came along in 1996, although Mr. Saka wasn't until later, uh, until the what was at the end of 98. Um, the NWO was established, Bash of the Beach 96, again 25 years ago, and uh, The Rock came around in 25 years ago, but he was a Rocky Maya Bia, so it's very loosely connected. <laughs> 25 years ago. Um, stuff, but, uh, what it, let's see what it says here. Yeah, please enjoy your June, so this is from June, 25th anniversary WWE Championship. See, I figured it out. It's, it's, it's a little bit, yeah. I mean, Mr. Sacco is not 25 years old, and The Rock wasn't The Rock until, uh, later, but, um, close enough, I guess, you know? Um, and then the NWO was definitely 25 years ago. So, Recap, we got uh, Stone Cold, Steve Austin, Can I Get a Hell Yeah pin. We got The Rock, um, oh no, that's not good. We got The Rock, uh, Can You Smell What The Rock Is Cooking, uh, Apron. We got the NWO poster, the Mankind, uh, Mr. Sacco foam hand, finger, hand, and the Stone Cold Steve Austin um, t-shirt. So, cool stuff. 25th anniversary makes sense, I guess, uh, for the most part. Um, yeah, so, I mean, not really Survivor Series related specifically, although The Rock, as Rocky Maivia, debuted at Survivor Series 25 years ago, so that kind of connects, I suppose, if you, if you want to make some sort of connection to Survivor Series, but in any event, tonight, is Survivor Series a couple hours away? Uh, hopefully, you're going to go check it out and enjoy it. Hopefully, it's good. Uh, a lot of times, Survivor Series kind of there's weird. The hype's weird. It's always do the SmackDown versus Raw thing, which sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. But it's usually a pretty good show for the most part. Um, so, hopefully, you enjoyed. It. If you want to hear my predictions, head on over to the description. Check out the podcast. My latest podcast has my predictions for tonight survivor series if you want to check those out and listen to that um but other than that uh thank you everyone for watching uh stay safe have fun enjoy survivor series tonight again tell me who you think is going to win down in the comments uh tell me what you think of what was in the slam crate um i think that's it for slam crates i'll be honest i don't know i mean again like i said one another one could show up tomorrow out of nowhere um and be an rko related <laughs> box or not or that could be it. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out uh, in due time. But uh, if this is the last one, meh, not, not the worst one in the world. Um, 
but also I, I I don't really think I could see myself getting these anymore, even if um yeah I, if they don't keep coming I don't I can't imagine uh, getting them again. But anyways, thank you everyone for watching. Stay safe, have fun. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.